Okay guys, last thing for this week. As you know, I had been working, um, I suppose in the last few weeks, getting all your shrap up online and accessible with audio clips and notes available on YouTube. So thankfully we have all them uploaded now. If you go to the Academy YouTube page, there will be a playlist from Shrap 1 to 20 and I have both sets up. As you know, we have two sets in class. So we've got our really difficult ones and we've got the, the easier ones there. So it's up to you which set you're learning. I have both up online with audio clips. Great thing about these audio clips is that if you're tired, you're not really in the mood and let's be honest, once you're tackling the Shrap picture, sometimes you're, you're not really in the mood to go hell for leather at it. It's late on a Tuesday night, do I really want to go saying them over and over again? It's easy with the audio clips just to throw your earphones in and on that night instead of just not doing them at all, just listen to them for half an hour while you're doing something else and just start hearing the words that you need to learn. Is that fair enough? That's the advantage of having them there. Up here, this is just revision. We looked at this twice, I suppose, this year already. It's just to remind you why are you bothering to learn the hard stuff? What is the advantage? Somebody asked me in class on Thursday, Shane, if I don't say six sentences, I won't get a H1. That's an urban myth. I've done these exams, as I said to you before, that when you go in, this is the, the grid that we're given. This is our marking scheme for the shrap. We're not told anything about you need five, you need six, you need seven phrases. It's about quality, not quantity, and I can't emphasize that enough. I say it to you every couple of weeks. The quality of your Irish gets you your marks. So you could say six sentences, all starting with Vichy, good jazz, V, birch, left, fecal. Or you could start with saying, like, Darren the school of Lena, VL. Tisho Ginner up there, it's a much harder sentence. You'll probably get more marks for the harder stuff. That's the way it works. So, up here, all the way down here, this is for our Storguelia and our Kummersod. So, our vocabulary, the words that we use and how we get them across. Are you using loads of hard words? saying them wrong though and I can't understand you, then you're going to be down here. You're using loads of hard words and you're saying them right, you're going to be up here. On this side, we focus in on your crinus and your cummus. Crinus, how accurate your Irish is. Are you saying things in the wrong tense? I asked you, Inish dung, on will plan, sucker ha agat, dun oskol no, er wallat dul kun the huskola, and you say, vi megadi an oskol, I was in the university. That's wrong. It's rocky, may I will go. Or, or I would love to get a place. So that's what that is there. Come is your ability. Is every verb ta, vi, kuig, or do you have a wide variety of verbs like mar, m a i r, to last? Or did you say something like hurling, to disembark, to get off? Vartig, we decided. Small things like that. Or is it just ta, vi, kuig, rocky, basic verbs all the time? So it's having a variety of Irish there in your shrap. Again, the big thing with this is not to make any basic errors. You're going to get a chance to show off when we're talking about technolium, when we are talking about the chorus idiots like we've done, when we're talking about COVID-19, coronavirus. All of those th things you can show off with. You can show the examiner your difficult language and you can push the conversation whichever way you want, which is great. When it comes to the SHRA, the big thing about the SHRA is don't make any small basic mistakes. Even if your shrap isn't as strong as, let's say, the strongest picture sets that we've put together, the big thing about this is, if you don't make small mistakes, it's really hard to take marks off you. If you make no mistakes at all, no grammar mistakes, and it's not that tricky, the language is just okay, I can't see you dropping below 30 marks, to be honest, because you're not making any mistakes. Yeah, you haven't really challenged yourself, but by making no mistakes, it's very hard for me as an examiner to take marks away from you. And also, it keeps this side nice and high as well. Usually, not all the time, but usually, if somebody scores around 53, 54, sorry, 43, 44 up there, it's usually a sliding scale that you go down to the one below. So this one, let's say your vocab is excellent, but your crinus was just very good. It's very rare that somebody gets in the same bracket. So it's really important when you are learning these, once you're confident with them, I have timed myself saying these online to about three, three minutes, 20 seconds. So if you can say them at that speed, I'm not rushing through them, I do them quite slow. So it's really easy to follow and it's really easy to understand. Pronunciation is a big thing. I won't see you guys probably for two, three weeks, depending on how long the school is closed for. 
So with the oral notes, I know you know how to say everything. You've done six Irish orals, sorry, five, and you will do a sixth one before this, uh, I suppose, sorry, before the, the orals come, come on when we get the dates again. So the big thing for me here is, are you saying your shra enough, and are, are you saying them right? So listen to the videos, listen out for the pronunciation, and nail that. Again, if you're doing the easy ones, I put up a video for all the easy ones. And the other thing I've done is I've added in basic pitch like I gave them to you in class, sentences that you can use to make some of the easier shra harder. Tus na blina, tus na shaktana, dera na blina, dera na shaktana, ibrava na sul. You've, you've had them all on the board, I won't put them up again. So guys, really stay working on these. You don't want to go rusty on them. They're worth 80 marks. 80 marks. That is, I suppose, 80 out of 240. Thirty-three percent of the oral, or eighty into six hundred, is thirteen point three percent of your leaving. The whole result in Irish, your shra counts for thirteen percent of the overall grade. So it's really, really important that we get this stuff right and we keep it right. Okay. Best of luck with the study. Any questions? Fire them in. But we have the stuff. We're ready to go. Good job. See you next week.